Hey, this is Jamal and today I'll show you how to use anisotropic maps in RenderMan in just two minutes. I applied a glass shader on this spaceship here, but to see any results we first have to increase the number of our roughness and our anisotropy. You can use a standard manifold 2D node with a pixel texture node, but I prefer to use a round cube node with a multi texture node. The next step is to choose a texture and create a pixel remap node. The last node we need to apply is a pixel tangent fill and this has to be connected with class anisotropic direction. In this case I use the class anisotropic direction because our material is glass but um, if you have a specular material you can also use the specular anisotropy. And as you can see, if we press this solo button here, our texture is not that strong. So um, I go to this remap node and change the input sliders. And then I go to tangent fill and change those rotation sliders a bit. And now you can see the effect of our anisotropic map. But to get a really good looking result, we need to apply a roughness map too. And if we do this, we can get this imperfect looking glass. It gives the mesh a sort of new dimension and it looks better than just a standard roughness map. So, and that was everything I wanted to show you in this short tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.